Hey, I want to briefly talk about an encounter or a situation you may encounter when you're checking into an RV park and plugging in your Airstream. This is an Airstream specific, it could be any RV. But um, we've been sitting here for a day at least already. And this morning I noticed that I was going to try to work on our stairs because they stick a lot, as Airstreams do. And I knelt down on this pad. It's been raining a little bit. I knelt down on this pad and started trying to get the Airstream steps out. And I got shocked, literally voltage going through my arm. So I didn't know if maybe because it was a vintage Airstream, is it the Airstream wiring or what? So let me show you what I did first to the test. First, I got my multimeter out, put it on AC voltage, and I'm going to put the black probe into the ground and the red, I'm going to touch the frame. So this should stay right around zero black probe to the ground and I'm going to touch the frame with it. Now keep in mind household current is 110 volts. So what I'm getting right now is 23 volts just off the metal frame. There's 30, okay there's 87, 88 amps, I'm sorry 88 volts. Your house is 110, this is very close. I've got 90 volts running through the frame. That should not be the case it should be zero so I tested a couple of things on the Airstream and the culprit is actually the pedestal so let me walk you around to the pedestal and I'll show you what I found this situation is called reverse polarity so I come down to the pedestal and again we're gonna watch for the volts there so you got your circuit breaker here. This is your 30 amp service. Here's what should happen. I'm gonna unplug the Airstream. So the circuit breaker is on. This is your hot. This is your neutral. This is your ground. The only power that should be coming out of this is the hot. So I'm gonna put the probes on the hot and the neutral, and it should ring 110 volts. 120, which it does. Now, when I go from hot to ground, you can see it reads about a couple of volts, not a big deal. Here's the big deal. Again, this is your neutral, this is your ground. Neither one of these should be throwing out current. When I go from neutral to ground, I'm getting 120 volts. That's bad. That's could potentially a dangerous situation. At the very least, it could damage some of your newer electronics in the long term. But here's what's even worse. I'm gonna turn the circuit breaker off. No power, right? No power to anything. Let's go back. Neutral to ground, 120 volts. Hot wire, nothing, which is good. Actually, the, the hot wire is still throwing out 20 volts. So this is a bad situation. This is called reverse polarity, and it's something you need to check. Now, if you're thinking, well, I've got a surge protector. Surge protector won't detect this. You need to either get a multi-tester and learn how to test it or buy a specific product they make to plug in the 30 or 50 amp pedestals that will detect the reverse polarity situation. So it's called a reverse polarity detector. It's very important because like it is here, it's been wet, it's been raining. This could shock you and it could send you to the hospital. So just want to throw it out there, let you understand we're about to move to a different site. Um, this campsite's great. I'm not gonna mention the name. Uh, this is not a big deal for some, it happens. If you look on YouTube, there's lots of videos about this happening. So it's not anything against, against this campsite. But uh, just something to be aware of, something to think about when you're checking in and hooking up. Thanks for watching.